I'm here with Miltas Yuralamu from Game of Thrones fame. Um, can I ask, what scene did you most enjoy filming on Game of Thrones? I think, um, I think my my favourite scene is the, the the little scene in episode six where the the famous um, this famous scene here, yeah. where Arya is upset, yeah. and I talk to her about the god of death, and uh, uh, there's lots of reasons why I liked it. The main one was because Maisie was so on it that day. She like, you know, like sometimes it's so easy to act when the person you're acting opposite is just, in a, many ways, just being perfect, right? Uh, and it's because she's so, she's so true to her feelings, and she's so instinctive. Uh, it, it, it's just, you know, I mean, anyone you speak to will tell you exactly the same thing. And, you know, we're lucky that we have so many people that that in the cast that are so good at what they do. And they're so natural. And it makes acting less difficult. And I say less difficult because acting is always difficult. Mainly because it's so hard to, to not be self-conscious about these things. And as an actor, it's hard not to. And it's... And every so often you have moments where you're just in the zone and you don't see the millions of people and the crew that are surrounding you or the pressure of trying to remember your lines or the pressure of trying to get your moves right or hit your marks. And all of that just goes and you're just, just talking to another person. And then those moments are like unforgettable and that scene was one of them. Plus, it was a scene that isn't in the books. Right, yeah. It's written so, especially for the TV show. Yeah. And, uh, and it's another testament to why the creators of Game of Thrones really know what they're doing. Really yeah. know what they're doing. That yeah. they can create something that isn't in the books and make it as profoundly resonant as anything that George R. R. Martin wrote. Uh, yeah, because yeah, that's an important scene. Is it? Was it more freeing to know that there was no other interpretation of it that it wasn't in the books did you just feel like yeah I can really do what I want with this or was you it like always all of it? no you always go I can only do what I want with it because it's you know you, it's not in many ways there's a lot of precision about creating a show like this the writers the script editors the camera crew the directors the producers the writers everyone you know, the prop makers, the armory, you, you, the costume design, everything. Uh, there's so many people that step up to the mark and take responsibility for what they do. And no one really needs to be told what to do because everyone knows what to do. And that's the same thing with the actors. And so as far as directing and having rehearsals go, that doesn't really ever happen. So in a way, you do have to rely on your instincts. And that is the most terrifying, but also, once you get your head around it, you go, all I can do is just do what I can do. Because if I start to try and do something that isn't me, you can see. Yeah, it's not gonna be. So you have to kind of try and be true to yourself and just say the lines. Yeah. And say them with some kind of honesty. I think, I think that's, yeah. that's the key to acting properly. Yeah, I think, yeah, having the passion about it, yeah. you know, must help. And you definitely have that, like you can tell, you know, from watching it and everything. Thank you. Um, was there anything that you didn't enjoy about the filming? Was there anything yeah. that you know, weren't so keen on early No, or? no, I mean, the only thing that, I just remember seeing Francis McGee, who played Yoren, uh, the guy that uh, basically, takes Arya away when her father gets killed, cuts her hair. Um, a brilliant actor, someone I've, I've known for many years, we've acted together on stage. And I was going to do my first scene and he was just leaving. So we met in the car park on the way to the studio and he'd just come away from his first scene. And I just remember him looking at me and I said, Francis, how are you? It's amazing. What, uh, it's so good to see you. How did it go? And he just went, I just did my first scene and it was terrifying. Oh. 
And this is a man who has got so much filming experience. So as I heard that going to work, I was like, oh God. You feel a little bit sick anyway, because you know, there's so much to remember. That first scene, three and a half minutes, is just really just me talking to Arya. And there's pressure, there's no doubt about it. You want to do a good job, so of course it, you know, it's terrifying. There's no, I don't believe any actor who says, nah, it's easy. I don't yeah. believe them. They're liars. It seems terrifying. Um, if you could have played any other character in Game of Thrones, who would it be? Like, no restrictions, like, you know, gender or anything. Who would you want to be? Arya. Yeah. I mean, awesome. come on, you know, she has the best story arc and we yeah. haven't even scratched the surface yet. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, if you personally were in Westeros, what house do you think you'd belong in? Stark. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Well, because I believe in honesty and integrity and yeah. uh, being... Yeah, I mean, you know, my aspiration is to be but to be honest, you kind of just have to side with who's in charge, don't you? Yeah. Otherwise, you're just going to get your head chopped off. Yeah. If we're honest about yeah. it. Yeah, that's a more, maybe a more Lannister trait. <laughs> um, so you're in Wolf Hall, aren't you? Mm. Yes. Have you, has everything finished shooting? Everything's yet? finished. Yeah. I finished shooting. I think we all finished shooting around the end of August, I think it was. Um, I think that's going to be really, yeah. really good. Excited about it. Because the director Peter Kaminsky, an amazing, amazing director. Yeah. Um, if you haven't seen The Promise, watch The Promise because that is, especially for what's happening right now in the Middle East, is a very important document and testament. He's, um, I think he's amazing. Uh, Claire Foy, who's in The Promise, is is, is playing. Um, Anne Berlin, and uh, she's amazing. Yeah. Uh, Damien Lewis is amazing. Yeah. Uh, he plays my rival. I'm only in one episode. I play the King of France, yeah. and uh, and I have a, a fantastic scene with Mark Rylance, which yeah. he's he's a hero of mine. So to work with him yeah. is uh, is brilliant. So I've had an amazing year so far. Yeah. Really amazing. I've also heard that you're in Star Wars, or you will be in Star Wars. Episode 7? Yes, can you say anything about no. that? No. <laughs> <laughs> I really can't. Really? If you'd seen the things I've had to sign, yeah. no, I can't. Are you excited? It's been very exciting. Yeah. Were yeah. yeah. you a fan of Star Wars? Completely. Yeah. yeah. That's, why I'm, that's why I hate not being able to talk about yeah. it, because I am genuinely very excited. Yeah. I think it's going to be brilliant.